is the LG Spectrum Take Apart Repair Guide. The first step will be to remove the back battery cover. From there we can remove the battery, SIM card, and memory card. Now, using a small Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove 11 small Phillips screws as shown in the video. With all the screws removed, we can now use the safe open pry tool to begin releasing the clips holding the back housing in place. Simply work your way around all four edges, releasing all the clips. Once all the clips are released, we can then remove the back housing from the rest of the device. With the motherboard exposed, we now have eight cables that need to be released. Simply use the safe open pry tool to begin lifting the cables from the motherboard. With all these connections released, we can now remove the motherboard from the device. We're now going to begin releasing the LCD flex cable, which is adhered to the back housing. Follow it until you reach the black sticker. You'll need to remove this. With the large black decal removed, we can now remove the gold tape located at the bottom near the LCD flux cable. We can now fully release the LCD flux cable from the back housing. We're now going to do the same thing with the touchscreen flux cable, which just needs to be lifted away from the housing. Also know that the audio headphone jack will need to be removed. We'll now need to release two more small Phillips screws located on the housing. We can now use the safe open pry tool to begin prying away the screen assembly from the housing. Be careful of both the touchscreen flex cable and the LCD screen flex cable as these are fed through the housing. Carefully feed both flex cables through the housing. We can now begin gently prying away the LCD screen from the touchscreen assembly. Be careful as the lower portion of the LCD screen is held in place with a small bit of adhesive.
You can now replace your LCD screen. To remove the touchscreen from the frame, we're going to need to use a heat gun or hair dryer to heat the adhesive holding the touchscreen to the front housing. Use quick movements on medium heat for about 45 seconds. Use a safe open pry tool to begin releasing the adhesive holding the front housing to the touchscreen. Work your way around all four edges, reheating the adhesive if necessary. Be careful when working around the keypad buttons as this is held in place with extra adhesive. You can now replace the touchscreen digitizer.